Hey guys, I'm really glad you're back. Today we're gonna to talk about Westland, Oregon. Westland is a suburb of Portland. It's in Clackamas County, has 27,000 people, and it's an amazing place to live. We're gonna show you the map. We're gonna do some home tours, show you where things are at, drive by the high school, the middle school, and a couple of the elementary schools, and show you some of the great places that you can hang out and recreate in the parks or just down Main Street in Westland. I'm really glad you're here. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the like so you can stay up to date on all things that are happening in Oregon in terms of real estate in the Portland area. We'd love to be able to chat with you because I have people like you who call and text me every single day wanting to know about Portland, Oregon, all about the suburbs and about where the best places to live and actually where not to live. So make sure you shoot me a text, send me an email, call me. All my information is below. I'd love to chat with you. But right now we're going to jump into the map so you can get started on knowing, knowing if you are interested in Westland, Oregon. All right, here we are on the map. It is Westland is outlined in the red. I'll outline it for you in the blue so you can see it. So it's buffered by the Willamette River. Up here it falls into, this is all um, Lake Oswego outside of this. Lake Oswego, Wilsonville, and then Tualatin down here and Wilsonville again. So you have lots of area, it's compact. It's absolutely in the most accessible area. So you have outside of, there's the boundaries. So these are the main thoroughfares is Highway 43. Get you right into Lake Oswego and down to Portland. This is 205, which gets you out here towards the airport. You're talking 15 minutes on a good day could be 25 with traffic depends this is 205 and it gets to i5 which is your north south hub like us we go that way wilsonville that way <clears throat> so it's extremely accessible no matter what you want to do this area is easy to get to also oregon city's right here and they do have a bridge that connects west connects westland and Oregon City, super cool. It's called the Arch Bridge. It's a little bridge, but it is the connector between the two. So Westland is, let's see if we can get a little zoom in, a little zoom in. The Westland is absolutely amazing. It has, <clears throat> excuse me, it has one high school right here coming off of um, Highway 43. You go up the hill and the high school's right here. It's a great high school. I've done a drive-by, so I'll give you a visual of that. Um, Westland High School is a 6A school. So in Oregon, um, 6A is the top of the order with the biggest schools, and then it drops down to 5A, 4A, 3A, and goes down based on population size. And so Westland is a 6A school. They have an amazing athletics program, amazing theater program. They have academics to beat the band. So Westland High School is a great place to be. There is um, middle schools and then there's elementary schools that all feed into Westland High School. It is in the Westland Wilsonville School District. So when you hear that, that's just so you know, Westland feeds into Westland and then it's in the same school district as Westland Wilsonville, but all Westland kids can go or feed into Westland High School. Mary S. Young Park, it's a beautiful park down by the river, has river access, it's great parks for taking your dog for a walk, hanging out. They do lots of um, activities at Mary S. Young Park. There's a great walking path. It's a great place to be, just to have a visual of what that is. So there's 27,000 people in Westland. You can get bigger homes, you can get bigger lots. There's also a huge community of condos that will drive through, so you can see that. Um, Westland does the gamut of condos that run about 350, 320, 325,000 to all houses up to millions of dollars. So it is a very diverse um, economical place to live, but it is it is where people want to be. They want to be here or they want to be in Lake Oswego. So again, just wanted to give you a look at the map. This is where it's at. We're going to dive in and I'm going to show you downtown, um, the main street in Westland, and we're going to do some houses. Um, but before that, we're just going to get a little introduction for me and then off to the houses. <laughs> So this 
this is the downtown Main Street coming off of the 10th Street exit off of 205. So this is Westland's Main Street. You can see beautiful buildings, all have amazing walkability. They have tons of opportunities for people to be on the sidewalks, lots of parking. This is above the river so that there's, um, this is all flat, but if you go down towards the river, you can hike that as well. There's Cooperstown, great burgers. There's a sushi place we just passed. Past. This is one of my very favorite places to hang out during the summer. This place is hopping. There's so much activity down here. It's a great place to be. And it, one of the reasons that people are flocking to West Lynn, actually. One of the gems of West Lynn is this youth music project. It is amazing. It is what we all need in a community. It brings music to kids. Please check it out. It's worth looking at. So as we continue to drive down Main Street, this is going back up the other way. There's lots of businesses, as you can see. This place is just chock full of opportunities for you to get out about and meet your community. Coming up is the, there's businesses that are a podiatrist shop. There's a law shop. There's Bellagio's Pizza up here. Coming up on the firehouse, as you see right here, kind of right in the middle of the whole thing, which is kind of cool, very community based. As we keep driving up the main street, you're gonna see what people love is the Willamette Ale and Cider House. And this lady sells flowers out front of it every weekend, which I absolutely love. And then after the stop sign, you're gonna see that we roll into what the people love to hang out is at the garage, which is a food cart area, it has undercover um, eating, so you don't have to get wet while you're eating at these food carts, which is kind of fun. Kind of a thing that Portland has is food carts, so don't miss the garage at the end of the main street in West Lynn. It's a super cool place to hang out, and we'd love to have you there. So for starters, this is one of the condo complexes in West Lynn. These houses run anywhere between 325 and 415, depending on layout, number of bedrooms, where they're placed all come with a gym membership and then or the access to the gym as well as a pool people really love these they all feed into westland high school so it's a really economical way to get into this district coming off of the condos here is a single family home three bedroom two bath 1496 square feet asking five hundred thousand dollars this is a really hot home in west lynn built in 1998 with an amazing yard this one should not be missed as we move on from the $500,000 price range, here we are at 895. This house has three bedrooms, two bath. Let's go inside and take a look. All living on the main level. You have an office to your left right here. Flooring is impeccable shape. You have tons of room in there with double doors, primary in front of you. And down this hall, you have the other bedrooms. So you have a bedroom here, which is great size, full laundry, you have another full bath right here and then another bedroom. That's amazing. As you walk into the primary, you have these coffered ceilings. You also have an exit to the covered deck outside, which is nice. Beautiful full bath with a glass shower, dual sinks, walk-in closet. Has everything you need to have in a master bedroom. Then you walk in saw out here to the main living area. You have formal dining which feeds right into the living area. The amount of seating in this house is unimaginable. You have a gas fireplace with a beautiful view, more eating at the bar, new counter, quartz countertops. You have another eating area right here, new cabinets, new appliances. This place has it all. And when you go downstairs into the garage, you have another craft area as well, but the garage has an amazing shop as well. This house is a hidden gem. This is Willamette Park. It is right down the street from the house we just visited. This is the Willamette River right in front of us. This is the boat ramp and across the river at those trees is Canby in Oregon City. This is a place where everybody in the community comes together. They have a huge fair in the middle of the spring or the summer. This is a community area. Just up the hill from that park, this is Willamette Primary, one of the primary el elementary schools that feeds into Rosemont, which is the next school we're going to talk about, and then these feed, feed into Westland High School. Very small schools, amazing teacher um, teachers available here. It's a great place to go. And as these kids graduate, they go into Rosemont Middle School. It's up on the hill. 
up off Salamo. This is a beautiful middle school, lots of activities here and great community sense of feeling. They have lots of ac athletics and academics that they're very proud of here in West Lynn. Again, this is Rosemont Middle School up on the hill and these feed in. this feeds into West Lynn High School. Here's an example of a neighborhood up by the middle school. These houses are running anywhere from 850 to a little bit over a million dollars. They're brand new construction or newer construction in the last year. These houses are highly sought after. This is one of those neighborhoods in Westland that people want to live at. Again, it's up on top of the hill. Just wanted you to have a visual of what a neighborhood, a newer neighborhood in Westland was looking like. And this is an example of what you would get in a neighborhood of eight and a half, like I said, eight and a half up to a million dollars. All right, thanks again for walking through the map with us or walking through the city and all the things we've done. Just a real quick refresher on where we're at. This is West Lynn right here, and we are really close to lots of things. Clackamas, you've got Gladstone right here, you've got Oregon City right here, you've got Bridgeport Village in Tualatin, which is right here, you've got Lake Oswego up here and Wilsonville right here. This place is accessible to everybody. It's got walking accessibility when you're on Main Street and or in West Lynn. You've got driving accessibility. You're about 15 to 20 minutes away from everything you need to be at. If you're working in downtown Portland, you have two different options. You could go down 43, I mean three, really you could go up to Twilliger and you could also hit um, I-5 off 205. So there's lots of opportunity for drivability and just being in West Lynn is a community, community vibe. And I want you to know if you're interested, hit the like and subscribe. Let's talk about West Lynn. Thanks again for being here on this tour. We'll wrap it up, but we look forward to seeing you soon. Now that we've done our full tour of West Lynn, given you the highlights, showed you the schools, showed you some homes, driven through Main Street, driven through some neighborhoods, I'm really glad you stopped by. I'm really glad you got to experience West Lynn with me. So make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you stay up to date on everything that happens for real estate in Oregon and moving to Oregon, moving to Portland. We love having you here. Again, all my information is down below. Make sure you shoot me a text, send me an email, call me. Let's talk about coming to Oregon. Let's talk about moving to West Lynn. Let's talk about all things and how to make it the most seamless transition from where you're at now to where you want to be. I look forward to talking to you again. All my information is down below. Thanks again for being here.